didn't discuss it upwind because there's nothing magical about the outhaul. Uh, it's treated exactly the same way as the bite standard rig, the ladial rig, uh, and the laser, uh, all the way out when it's very, very heavy. Uh, but you do need to have some shape in the bottom in light air. Uh, there are two positions on the sail for the skirt. In heavy air, you use the back position, but in light air, you need to move it to the forward position. And this is why, as you release the outhaul, if you have it on the back end, you get this pucker in the sail, and you lose the fair shape in the lower third of the sail. So it's necessary to take it off that one, do it on both sides, so that you are able to get a smooth shape in the bottom of the sail. I mentioned that upwind, the bang is basically just snugged up. Now, as we turn the corner, particularly in a breeze, the minute you let the main sheet go, the boom is going to start to lift because you do not have a lot of bang on. Now, if you remember, the power in the sail, i.e. the shape in the sail, is controlled by the Cunningham. The power in the boat, which is how open or how close the leech is, is controlled by the main sheet. When we go off the wind, you want to be able to control both the power in the sail and the power in the boat with one control, and that's with the bang. So the Cunningham is released. You don't want the mast artificially bent by the Cunningham and flattening the sail more than perhaps is necessary. So the Cunningham is released, and everything offwind is done with the vang. The vang now controls the boom up and down, tightens or loosens the leech, and at the same time controls the amount of bend in the mast due to pressure on the leech, not a load on the Cunningham. So this becomes the key control off the wind. Before you get to the weather mark, the bang should be loaded up so that once you turn the corner and release the main sheet, the bang is going to pick up the load of the leech, and as you bear away, the boom will not lift. Because if you bear away without bang and the boom lifts, the top of the sail will blow forward and it will take you straight into weather in a weather roll beam reaching, uh, you release the outhaul, put some shape in the bottom of the sail, release the Cunningham, straighten the mast up, put the bang on to close the leech so that you now will set it up with a straight mast and a tight leech and a full powerful sail. That's light air sailing. As the wind starts to increase, just like you did in the bite standard rig, the outhaul will have to be tightened. You'll have to put more bang on to flatten the sail. And at the same time, you'll probably have to drop the boom down further because you're sailing with a tighter leech now that you're banging it. That's broad reaching. From there now, we're going to move to downwind and the trim of the boat off the wind. And running in very, very light air. Conditions in which basically the bang has um, has no role to play. If we look at the way that this sail is set up and look from the tip of the boom up to the top of the mast, you'll see that it's in a straight line with the mast. That's described as having no twist. This sail has no twist at all. In very light air, the more twist you have, the faster the boat goes. With more twist, as the wind increases, comes more instability. But in the very, very light air, 
What we're trying to do is get rid of that straight leech, and to do that, basically, we don't need any vang at all. Now, I don't have any wind in the sail, so I'm going to try and do it with my hand, but without the vang, the boom will rise, and the sail will be pushed forward by the wind, and you will find the top of the sail will fall forward, and there will be a lot of twist in the sail. That's no twist, and then that's a lot of twist. And in very light air, that's what you're looking for, maximum twist. As the wind starts to increase, maximum twist becomes very unstable. And so the way to get rid of it is to progressively start to put on the boom bang to stop the leech from blowing away and slowly bring it back to the point where in heavy air you're not operating with any twist at all and you're back to where we first started, a straight leech. In order to do that, the, the bang is going to pull down on the boom and in so doing is going to flatten the sail and that is going to depower the sail for you as well. Uh, just a caveat to sailing in light air or even medium air without uh, any bang on. As I mentioned, it's very fast, but there is a situation which arises more often than not without any bang where you can find yourself in the middle of a jive, and because there's no bang on, the top of the sail will be over on one side and the bottom will have actually jived on the other. And you have an uncomfortable situation where half the sail is filled on one tack and the other has not been. So before you jive, always, in virtually all condition, snug up the bank and jive with a straight leech. This way you'll be sure and jive the whole sail at the same time. As I mentioned before, as the wind increases, we have to start removing the twist in the sail, and we're going to remove it with the bang. And as we do it with the bang, you'll notice that the mast is starting to bend, and now we're bending the mast with, with the bang and not with the cutting hand, but we're getting the same effect of a flat sail that we were getting before with the cutting hand. But now it's been done with the bang off the wind. The sail has been depowered, the leech is straight, and you probably have your stability back, whereas before, if you didn't do that, you would, you would find the boat very difficult to control as the wind increased.